Right. The Treasurer's report will be quite brief because um, the accounts are fairly simple. Um, as I say every year, these aren't typical accounts in the sense of profit and in income and expenses and profit and loss. Uh, we have only expenses um, which we are allowed by the BCS on an annual budget and uh, then the BCS uh, pays our bills and uh, out of their general income, which presumably is mostly membership fees. So if you look at the 2019-2020 uh, budget against the actual figures, um, we rather startlingly underspent, but that's pretty much understandable um, in view of COVID-19. So we had quite a large catering budget, um, which is almost all meant for the uh, summer OSH camp, open source hardware camp at Hebden Bridge. That sadly didn't take place. Um, so um, hardly any of that was spent. Uh, the next category is speaker expenses. Um, our speakers at our events um, speak for free, but sometimes they need, they come from far away um, or have a broken leg and need to take a taxi instead of public transport or something like that. Um, so we, we cover their expenses. Um, we had we were allowed five hundred and eighty pounds for that this year, and we spent four hundred and twenty. Travel and subsistence category is for committee members to travel specifically to committee meetings. Um, historically, that budget of item has been quite large because we had a committee member who commuted from Yorkshire. Um, he's no longer on the committee, um, so we didn't spend much this year and. Uh, the, the next year's budget is considerably smaller. Publicity and materials, um, out of our budget of £180, we spent nothing this year. We wanted to buy some YouTube advertising, but um, the finance office never did quite figure out how to set up a, a YouTube account for them to pay on our behalf. So we haven't spent anything on publicity and materials this year. We have £300 budgeted for the coming year, which hopefully we will sort out a bit of advertising. And also that budget is paying for the server that uh, this tonight's meeting is actually running on. That that's, uh, seemed a sensible place to to categorise that, that expense. So out of a total of £3,000 budgeted, we spent only 557 um, the, accordingly, the budget for next year is quite a bit less. Uh, again, the largest component is that a catering figure for Oshkamp. And at the moment, it's really anybody's guess whether Oshkamp will happen or not. Um, it depends on the virus and whether there's a vaccine by then and how the government feels that week. Now, I hope uh, everybody's on their toes and noticed um, the figures in the second column don't actually add up. Did, did anybody spot that? Um, obviously, the reason is because there's a spreadsheet behind this page and um, there were some hidden penny amounts. So if we reveal the pennies, we see it does actually add up. Um, so the, the moral there is is never take at face value numbers that come out of a spreadsheet. Um, looking at the pennies, you might be a little curious why the budget has um, the odd 41p and 92p um, rather than being round numbers like last year's budget. Um, the answer to that is we asked for round amounts, but what was granted by the BCS Finance Office was scaled down from what we actually requested. I think overall there was uh, more call on funds from all the special interest groups than they wanted to distribute, possibly considering the, the uncertainty of the coming year. So what we uh, have been granted is considerably less than we, we asked for. I suspect what we'll spend giving the circumstances will be even less than that. Um, 
Now, according to our constitution, I need to ask for approval of these accounts. It's just a formality, I hope, but I'm not sure if we have a poll set up to do that. So you can ask for a poll. You just have to tell people that, hey, I, I think there might be a yes, no. There's a, available. there's a yes, no. I'll start that now. So if you uh, are happy to accept the accounts as you see them on the screen, please click yes. We have a majority for, for, for yes, that's good enough for me. Thank you. And that's my report. Thank you, Richard. Um, I will take over as a presenter. Um, and uh, if I could ask, um, one of the ways that Big Blue Button works is that it, it is a um, distributed system. So um, that means keeping that's why we keep on turning the cameras off just to stop flattening and giving you 24 video streams to watch. Um, um, and if I could ask people to mute when they're not speaking, that would be brilliant. OK, uh, I'm just going to put back the. OK, so we've done the election of uh, the chair. Um, now all that remains is to elect the rest of the committee. Um, uh richard miller um uh um is uh willing to stand again as our treasurer and we're he does a tremendous amount of work quite in the background and we never have a problem needing money so i'm going to start a poll and uh please vote to say um how you wish to vote All oh, right. How do I? Oh, because I've asked for the poll. I can't vote. I can't vote myself. OK. Right. OK. We'll publish the polling results. Um, so that's nine. Um, um, so that's if someone would update the shared notes, uh, perhaps uh, Richard or Julian, um, you can put the results. So that's nine four and, and no, no one anywhere else. So the next slide is election of membership secretary and Julian formally holds the title of membership secretary but he is also head of uh advocacy and outreach um so if i start a new poll if i could ask um for people to vote for or against uh polling and whoever's recording the minutes they can add um uh, to that okay and that's Oh, very good. So there we have um, eight, four. Um, you can make that nine, four, because I can't vote in my own poll. So that's nine, four and one abstention. OK. Um, and now a new role. Uh, this is something the BCS has. And I think it's a really good idea. Inclusion officer and responsible for making sure we are inclusive, that we have a good representation on our committee and within our programme and everything. And I'm delighted that someone's experienced as Cornelia Boldyref, past chair of this group, past council member, all round good thing, um, has agreed to stand for this role. So I'll ask you to, uh, I should put up another poll and ask you to vote for and against on that one. Okay. And whoever's recording the results, please add one more for me because I can't vote in my own poll. Publish polling results. There we are. That's 10 4 0 0. Okay. And uh, next one is election of committee. So, um, uh, just because of time's moving on, I'm going to summarize here. So, Andy Bennett um, and Seven Janian have run our uh, 
uh, events committee for the last few years and tremendous contribution and both willing to stand again, even though I know both of them have very heavy jobs. Simon Worthington is our web supremo. And you'll notice we use the title Web Supremo, not Webmaster, because Webmaster carries far too many connotations that our inclusion officer would quite rightly say we shouldn't be using. So Simon is our Web Supremo. And you will notice the web has developed in recent years, and that's thanks to Simon. OK, and I'm delighted that we have two um, candidates putting their names uh, forward um, to join the committee. Daniel is an undergraduate at Reading University and uh, is, has agreed to be put forward to represent um, the young professional element, something we do, we couldn't find anyone to do this year. And I'm delighted that Mary Bennett has also uh, agreed to put forward. Mary has specifically asked to be put forward to work with Julian on the advocacy and outreach. And just for the avoidance of any doubt, Andy Bennett, Mary Bennett and Jeremy Bennett are completely unrelated. Um, so we, we, it just happens to be by coincidence we've got a lot of Bennett's on the committee. So we'll, we'll take the committee as a whole. Could I ask uh, members, then this is the last poll of all, just to vote for the committee. Um, OK. And uh, if you add one more for me, because I can't vote in my own poll, we now have an, uh, 10 nil election committee thank you all for putting forward if during the year any of anyone else listening feels i really could do with being on the committee i'd like to contribute we can co-opt during the year for the uh committee members you don't have to be a member of the bcs indeed we are moving towards something i hope in the future that where we may actually be able to if you join the committee pay for your bcs membership that hasn't happened yet but that's something we may be able to do in the future so um if you'd like to join the committee please speak to any other member of the committee. And even if you don't want a committee, the committee meetings are open. If you want to attend the committee meeting and see what goes on, please just ask and we'll invite you along. OK, so thank you all. Thank you all for those who have worked hard for the last year making this possible. And welcome to our two new committee members. And thank you for putting yourselves forward. OK, and that's the end of the AGM. Um, thank you all very much. And we'll now move to lightning talks. And.